Okay, hi all. I'm going to do another review because my roommate's still not back, and I feel like it. And I should probably do it before I return the book and forget what it was about and whatnot. Anyway, this is a review of Foundation by Mercedes Lackey. Finally, another book in the Valdemar series. Anyway, um, if any of you have ever read any of Mercedes Lackey's books, um, then you kind of already know what to expect. And this one isn't a shocker. Um, but if you haven't, it's it's still a good book, although if you haven't ever read any of Mercedes Lackey's books, I would recommend starting probably somewhere with, like, Arrows of the Queen or something like that. There's a... She didn't really write them in order, but um, Arrows of the Queen is sort of the first book that she wrote, and I'm not fond of the prequels, so... My sister will disagree with me vehemently, but I'm not fond of them. Um, anyway, um... I liked Foundation, but like I said, it's not it's not a starting book for people who haven't read Valdemar before. I like it because I was waiting and waiting and waiting for her to write another Valdemar book, and finally she has. Um, so there are spoilers, obviously, so if you don't want to hear those, um, tune out. Uh, so I read this book, and it's, it's classic Mercedes Lackey. Um, there's this orphan boy named Mags, and he's made to mine things. It's a lot like uh, Take a Thief, which was about uh, Skiff. The, one of the heralds who started out as a thief. And I really like, though, how she makes her characters into people who are believable that if they were in that situation, they would end up thinking and feeling that way. Uh, he... Skip, like, Mags, <laughs> I, I associate with him Skiff, because um, Take a Thief is a great book, but it's basically Oliver Twist in Valdemar. And this one is not quite as much Oliver Twist, but it's it's got a lot of food, glorious food. Because when uh when Mags is finally being fed, he thinks about how hard it was when he was starving all the time, and how great food is, how much he loves food. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite scenes is um there's this uh, Bardic girl, and he's uh, he hears her crying, and he goes up to her, and she's got this dead rabbit, and. Uh, She's so sad because it was her pet, but he was thinking to himself, his first instinct was to be like, you want me to help you skin it? And then we can, like, cook it in a stew? It's going to be great! And his, his, his uh, companion, uh, the magical horse, has to think to him, no, 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 bad move. And so he, he doesn't say that. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's great. It's great that he, that he wanted to say that because that, that's, that's a beautiful character trait that you're not... You're not going to sit there and cry over the rabbit. You're going to eat it! You're going to eat it! <laughs> so, yeah. I thought that was funny. And I liked Mags reasonably, though. The I felt like this is... This is book is exactly what it sounds like. It is It is a foundation um, for what is clearly a much larger story. And it's, uh, it says it's the first book in the Collegium Chronicles. And I wasn't sure if she was going to write more about this character if she was going to skip around and have other characters, but I'm pretty sure she's going to do more on this character, because if she doesn't, that would be really lame, because it ends on a cliff, the cliffhanger that it ends on. Um, I'm doing spoilers, so I might as well tell you, you know, with um, that guy recognizing Mags, clearly he's he knows who Mags is, and there's that whole thing with um, uh, Master Peters, and like, why... What's his What's his deep, dark secret? And he, you know he's going to come after Max because he's not dead. You should always kill your enemies because then they come after you. Yeah, that's 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 what Mercedes Lackey has taught me. That and genocide is bad. And life should be fair. Yeah, no, really, I love her. I love her. My, my sister gets mad at me every time. But I do, I love her books. It's just, you know, not because they have, you know, they're not bad themes. They're just not the most original or profound ones. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, she writes great stories. She's an amazing storyteller. It's just, yeah, genocide is bad and life should be fair. Um, yeah. You, you, there's themes you can't argue with. <laughs> I mean, unless you like, you know, to kick puppies and things like that. Uh, so I, I, love, I love these books, and I love Valdemar, and so I'm really glad that she's writing, writing this series again. And I look forward to the next one, and I really hope it comes out soon, because of the cliffhanger ending! Cliffhanger ending! Oh my gosh! Um, because I feel like, I feel like this was just like a taste, a starting point. Like, most of her stories I really, I really get into, but I feel like this one was just a little bit, 
getting our feet in the water, reminding everyone what Valdemar is because he hasn't written in it for like five years. Um, seems like so much longer. But yeah, it, this one was just a little bit of a taste. So if, if you're the type of person who will go insane if you read something with a cliffhanger and for some reason you're still watching this anyway even though there are spoilers, uh, don't, don't read this one. Um, wait, I mean, do read it, do read it, but wait until the other ones have come out. Because otherwise you'll, you'll go fast. Because uh, I'll be okay, I've got other things to read, but I, I really wish I could read the next book. Um, that'd be great. I can't even, I can't even find any information on it. Mercedes Lackey is probably one of the most obscure readers that I, or obscure writers that I read. Um, my sister and I were talking about this. Try, really, seriously, try finding a book that's in, you know, obviously most booksellers aren't going to sell obscure writers, they're going to sell writers that sell. Um, but the, the way I found out Mercedes Lackey was about the most obscure as I read was because when I traveled abroad, her books weren't translated, whereas almost every other book I've ever read was translated into a bunch of different languages. So that's how you tell. And I mean, I'm sh her books have probably been translated, but I, I didn't see them when I was traveling, and so there wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, Harry Potter or uh, Terry Goodkind or um, uh, Terry Pratchett, you know, lots of Terry's. Um, I'm sure Terry Brooks has been translated too. I've never read his stuff, but I'm sure she translated. Uh, anyway, um, and if you can't understand the mumbling that I do sometimes um, because of the new microphone and whatever and I talk really fast, um, I'm sorry and just let me know and I'll try to fix that. But if you do understand it, kudos to you. Uh, anyway, if you got this far, congratulations. <laughs> you must be really interested and yeah, um, good book. Good book. And that's all. Thanks for watching.